Hello children. In the last video, we saw some interesting examples of equivalent fractions. In this video, we will learn more about it through some more interesting examples. Today, Raju and Bablu are playing a unique game. Raju will write a fraction. Then, he will write the number below the equivalent of that fraction. And Bablu will have to find the number above it. Raju first wrote this fraction. Bablu started finding the fraction. Children, can you help Bablu? Raju wrote this fraction. Here, the number 2 shows how many parts of a thing are created. And the number 1 shows that we took one of those two parts. Like, if we divide this circle into two equal parts and fill color in one part, then we can write the colored part of the circle in the form of a fraction in this way as 1 by 2. Now, in this fraction, the number 8 shows how many parts of something are made. In this way, we can make a similar circle and divide it into 8 equal parts. Now, we have to find out how many parts of these 8 parts should we take so that it is equal to half of the first circle. If we put these on top of each other, then we can see that 8 parts of this circle are equal to 2 parts of the first circle and 4 parts of this circle is equal to 1 colored part of the first circle. Therefore, we will color in 4 parts of this circle. In this way, we have the numeral above our equivalent fraction as 4. In this way, half is equal to 4 eighth. This is Raju's next fraction. Children, can you find this fraction? Let's find it using a different shape. We can show this fraction by dividing such a strip into 5 equal parts and coloring 3 parts in it. Now, how many parts are there in its equivalent fraction? 15. Come, let us make a strip of equal length of this strip just below it and divide it into 15 equal parts. Now, if we put this strip on top of the first strip in this way, we will find that 15 parts of this strip are equal to 5 parts of the first strip. Can you now tell how many parts out of 15 are equal to 3 colored parts of the bottom strip? Let's see. Yes, 9 parts. In this way, 3 by 5 is equal to 9 by 15. This is Raju's last fraction. Children, can you find this last fraction? If you wish to, you may find it by stopping the video. Well done children! You have found it absolutely right. If we take two equal length strips and divide one of them into three equal parts and the other into twelve equal parts and then put the second strip on top of the first strip. We will find that three parts of the first strip are equal to 12 parts of the second strip. 
and if we look closely eight parts of the second strip is equal to two colored parts of the first strip thus 2 by 3 is equal to 8 by 12 with your help bablu found all of raju's fractions see how he is happily dancing children in this video we learned more about equivalent fractions through some more interesting examples